Assalamualaikum sahabat RC Islami. The issue that we are dealing today is a, a very imperfect issues. Domestically speaking, domestically speaking we are facing tremendous challenge in America. Racism is still on the rise. It was against the Muslims yesterday. Today it is against our Asian brothers and sisters. This is not an issue of Muslims and non-Muslims. It's an issue of humanity. It's an issue of mankind. And therefore, standing together is paramount important. It is a very important that we are coming together against these injustices anywhere, everywhere. As it is said that injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. An injustice against anyone is an injustice against everyone. My friends, brothers and sisters, what is taking place around the world today is tremendously challenging. From Kashmir to Uyghur in China, to Rohingya, to our own Palestinian brothers and sisters, to now Yemen for many years, which is least covered by media. But the most challenging part of the world is Yemen. Many thousands of people are facing hunger. Even beds are not enough for the dying children in the hospitals. So brothers and sisters, it's very important to stand against this oppression. This is not even about Islam and non-Muslims. Particularly, it's not sectarianism issue. It's nothing to do with Shia or Sunni, brothers. This is about human's life. Believe me, one day, the Prophet, there was a janazah passed by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and he stood up. Someone told him, oh, Prophet of Allah, he's a not Muslim. The Prophet said, isn't it he's a human being too? Respecting human's life is respect for all brothers and sisters. So let me make it sure that America is America because of the value they respect. We respect human rights, we respect human's life. We respect the right of the people to live their life dignifiedly and respectfully. So stop sanctions and stop interventions in, the, in other countries. It is enough for America to have the homework here. We have to face the challenges that we are facing economically, educationally, in terms of racial relations in America. It is the responsibility of the government to build bridges between groups of people in America. Brothers and sisters, as, as an ancient and Muslim, I feel how difficult and challenging it is living in America in my own beloved country. But it is our responsibility to stand up together. Because what is happening yesterday to the Muslims is happening today to the Asian community. It is going to happen to anybody tomorrow. There is no guarantee. Against fighting for anyone is a fight for everybody. So let's join hand, let's be together, let's be united to, to, to fight against oppressions anywhere, anytime. Be it here at home or outside of America. Yemen particularly, brothers, they are dearly in our heart. The Prophet Muhammad said, Al-Imanu Yamani. Faith is about Yamani. When we see the children, Yemeni children dying, it is really, you know, painful to all of us. And I think it's a time to speak out against it. We call upon the Amer American governments, our own government, to, to voice out and to stop our aid our military to those regimes who are killing the children in Yemen. Dalam perjalanan hidupnya, beliau mensiarkan Islam di negeri Paman Sam. Hingga saat ini Islam semakin berkembang pesat dan telah banyak membimbing orang untuk mengenal Islam. Beliau adalah tokoh muslim Indonesia. Muhammad Samsi Ali adalah seorang imam Islamic Center of New York, Jamaica Muslim Center, dan juga pendiri yayasan pesantren Nusantara di kawasan timur New York. Saudaraku, sampai di sini ulasan videonya. Semoga bermanfaat. Sampai bertemu di ulasan video selanjutnya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.